If you love Pokemon like I do and have also spent many hours with Stardew Valley, Moonstone Island will sound like a dream come true for you as well. So be sure to stay tuned if you want to learn more about this upcoming game. Welcome to the Switch Gems channel. With Moonstone Island we will get a mix of farm sim and RPG in a charming pixel look hopefully later this year. The graphics are obviously inspired by games like Stardew Valley and the old Pokemon and Zelda games on the Game Boy Advance. So we get a good load of retro visuals served to us. Similar to games like Rune Factory or Stardew Valley, Moonstone Island is incredibly versatile and sticks its nose into almost every genre. Of course with games like this there is always a risk that everything is covered but most of it is only executed half-heartedly. Whether that's the case with Moonstone Island or not, we'll find out together today, but first let me explain what Moonstone Island is all about. How many spirits can you collect during your year away from home? In order to complete our training as an alchemist, we have to leave our hometown for an entire year. For this purpose, we move to one of numerous islands in the sky to face this challenge. In our new home, we make ourselves comfortable, furnish our room accordingly, grow crops and get to know the villagers of Moonstone Island. We can of course build friendships, relationships and romances and indeed with any of the villagers. In various mines we can mine stones, ores and other resources as usual and with a bit of luck find treasure chests with useful loot. Of course the forest can also be cleared properly. So far, so farmsim. Over time we also get better equipment, brew powerful potions and thus prepare for upcoming exploration tours. Besides the idyllic village life, numerous dungeons, temples and other hostile biomes are waiting to be explored. We also have the opportunity to visit other sky islands besides our new home island. Now this is perhaps the most exciting part of Moonstone Island for me. In Moonstone Island we don't pull out our sword ourselves in case of a fight. We are able to tame so-called nature spirits to let them fight for us. The first nature spirit is given to us by our father in the tutorial section. Similar to Pokemon we can choose between three monsters at this point. Each monster has also a type, various attributes and abilities. However the battle system was and is my highlight so far. Each nature spirit has its own little deck of cards consisting of various attacks. In battle, these attack cards are drawn randomly and played out strategically to fight against the really strong AI of the opponents. I immediately had to think of the Mega Man Battle Network series. What the battleships used to be in that series, our attack cards are in Moonstone Island. It's really cool that they decided against simple turn-based battles here. How many nature spirits there will be in the end and whether they can evolve is currently unclear. What I have seen of Moonstone Island so far definitely makes me want more. I'm a big fan of casual gaming experiences a la Stardew Valley, but I've also been a Pokemon fan since day one. I'm confident that Moonstone Island will be a super strong hybrid and I'm really looking forward to the game. Unfortunately, there's no exact release date yet, but it's supposed to come out later this year. Now tell me, what do you think of Moonstone Island and the concept itself? Will you give the game a chance? As always, feel free to write me your opinion in the comments. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription to my channel. Thanks for checking in and see you next time on Switch Gems.